Well, hello everybody. This is Southern Belle. This is going to be my second video. Thank you to everybody who watched the first video. I wanted to have a second video where I had a chance to talk to y'all, to get to know you, to have you get to know me, while I did some kind of visual hobby. Um, I've seen other channels where they'll have a little talk with their audience, their friends, their fans, their followers, while they paint, while they draw, while they do some kind of craft where they're making jewelry or wood burning or scrapbooking. However, I'm not visually artistic. I'm not craftsy. I don't have the ability to do those. So I started searching my brain for what else that I could visually show y'all while just talking and getting to know you. And I thought about it and I thought about it and I prayed about it and I started searching my mind for some kind of answer. And it's amazing how sometimes God will send you an answer through a memory. And the particular memory that I had was of my dear parents, both of which have passed on now. And they had a long, happy marriage. And they died within just 30 days of each other. But one of the things that they would do during their couple time is they would sit on the couch. They'd get all cozy. My dad's arm would be around my mother. And she would hold this clipboard um, that had the crossword puzzle from the newspaper. And together they would work it. She had the better penmanship, so she would write the answers in. My dad would read it aloud and they would talk through the answers until they decided what answer would fit in the blank. My mother would write it in and they would work the whole puzzle together. And it was a great form of their couple time. I remember watching as a kid saying, when am I gonna be old enough to help? When am I gonna be enough? And after a while, when I got older, my dad would sit me on his lap and I'd be included too. So I thought what I'd do today is I'd get out a word puzzle and perhaps we could work it together. What do y'all say? So let's find one here. Okay. See if I can get the camera focused on it. I may end up showing myself not to be the uh, brightest bulb in the box. Now, have y'all ever worked these kind of silicrostics before? If not, let me explain how it works. I hope the print is dark enough for y'all to see. Maybe it's the camera. you'll see well the way you work a silicrostic is it's like an acrostic except instead of having to come up with all of the letters and the words on your own it's divided into syllables and so therefore, you know the number of syllables because it's in parentheses. And then you have the clue to help you figure out what the word says. Still looks blurry to me. Hmm. There, there, it seems to have zoomed in. Okay, so let's see if we can work this together. So here is the various syllables in parentheses. Right here is the number of syllables. So in the example, it says a tenderizing sauce. And so we know that it's three syllables and that the answer is marinade. So let's see how we do. Um, number two, lopsided, lopsided, um, uneven, no, that's too long, a tilt, no, um, ooh. a skew, let's see, with the A, the skew, 
A-S-K-E-W. Okay, so we figured out our first one. Askew. And then I will cross through it here so we know we used it. Clowns ride. Oh, I think of those cars where all those clowns come out of it. I didn't know it had a name. Okay, well, let's skip that one and go on. Debater's reply. Um, a retort. A response. Uh, hmm. Reply. Okay, well, we'll come back to that. Absolutely necessary. Absolutely necessary would be... Um, needed. Important. Something you can't do without. Essential. Wait. Is essential here? Is that the right number of syllables? Okay, three syllables. Then let's check up here. Do we have uh, essential? Yes. S-E-N. Yes. Okay. We got another one, y'all. I'm sure y'all probably thought of it before me and y'all were just shouting out. You're thinking, Belle, why didn't you think of it sooner? So I'm not here to seem smart, clearly, because it has taken me forever, but just to have something fun to do with y'all. Okay, number six, mangle. Now see, mangle is such a small word, and yet we're trying to make a word that has three syllables. Why do you even need a three-syllable word when you have a simple one-syllable word? Mangle. I hate to think that anything's gotten mangled. Well, let's go on to the next one and we'll come back. Seven, a comedy genre. Well, I would have said improv, but that's probably, improv is short for improvisation. But, oh wait, it could actually be improv. Okay, two syllables, improv. Y'all, I have to tell you, improv was my favorite class in college. I know that probably doesn't sound like a smart thing, that I should have said, oh, my favorite class was astrophysics or my favorite class was um, English composition but I've just got to be real with y'all um, when I say favorite I mean most fun I mean the class that just didn't seem like drudgery a class that I would take at any stage of my life um, just to improve my horizons and have a good time and for me, that was my improvisation class. And yes, for those of y'all who don't know, I was totally a theater nerd. Okay, let's cross this off. See, you're learning about me so much just by doing this puzzle. Maybe more so than you even wanted. Okay, city resident. Metropolitan. Suburban. Um... Urban, urban, urbanite. Okay, there we go. Urban. Now, is there a second N? No. I am not good at spelling, y'all. Spelling is like my kryptonite. Okay, urbanite. Okay, there we go. A punctuation mark. Four syllables. Oh, there are so many. So many. Um, exclamation point. Too long. Question mark. There would be two words. Colon. Semicolon. Comma. Period. Let's see what we have the right letters for. Oh, semicolon would work. Okay. So, S-E-M-I-C-O-L-O-N. Okay. Cross off the letters here. Are y'all having fun working this puzzle? I hope this isn't boring for y'all, and I really hope that you're playing along at home, even if you're yelling at me. 
Okay, let me see if I can tip the camera down a little bit so we can see the next few together. Okay, ink squirters. Squid. Those fancy old time pens. Hmm, what could it be? What could it be? Let's go on to the next one while we think it over. Remember, as we fill in the ones that immediately come to our mind, um, by crossing them off, when we go back a second time through them, then the few answers that are left in the syllabox will help us to figure out by process of elimination. Okay, loser at Waterloo. I definitely don't know that. Um... Films Thompson. Oh, wait, Emma Thompson? Is that too simple? Let's see. Four letters, only two syllables. Oh, it is Emma Thompson. Okay. Do y'all know who Emma Thompson was married to? She's no longer married to him now. If you know it, put it in the chat. Just a hint, he's a very famous actor and very famous director. Still living. Okay, bleeping, for example. Bleeping? I always think of bleeping as the way that you uh, respond when there is potty mouth. Clearly, it must have some other, other meaning. Okay, let's see. Number 14, continent south of Sicily. That would be Africa. I love when there's an answer I actually know. Okay. AF. R I C A. There we go. Okay. Keep angling the camera down. Prehistoric man. Prehistoric man. Neanderthal? Do I have the right syllables for that? <gasps> I do. Okay. Me. Y'all, please don't judge my handwriting. My handwriting is basically as bad as my spelling, and I admit that about myself. I have so many faults, and by doing these videos, y'all are going to slowly but surely find out more and more and more of them, and it will just add to the list. But we all have faults. We all have shortcomings. Okay, next we have 16, Baby Bug. Baby Bug. I always think of that little, um, oh, what's the thing that the butterfly turns into? But I guess it can't be that, and that's not technically a bug anyway. Um, larva? I have the right. Okay, larva. Okay. All right, number 17, naturally belonging. Innate. Um, original. Um, naturally belonging three syllables. That's a long word, too. Um, intrinsic? Would that fit? In intrinsic. Okay, there we go. Oh, 
Okay, and the last one. Means of support. Income. No. Uh, salary. No. Um, means of support. Maybe the type of support they mean is not financial. Um, y'all may just be screaming at me while y'all are watching this. Oh, this may not be such a good idea for a video. Oh, I don't know. Okay, well, we got about half of them on the first pass through. So let's go back and look again. And we'll try to match it up with the letters that are still available in the Scylla box. Okay, so going back to number two, Clown's Ride. Could it be unicycle? Would that even fit? U-N-I-C-Y. Okay, there we go. I was thinking at first it had to be a car, but, you know, a ride can be other things too, even though I can't even ride a bike. Um, therefore, other people ride bikes, other people ride unicycles and tricycles. tricycles. Okay, let me mark it down. Okay, uh, four, debater's reply. Oh, rebuttal. That's what it is. It's got two T's in it. Okay. Okay, mangle. Mangle. What have we got left here? Oh, I am not seeing it. I hate to pass it by again. Wait, I think I see lacerate, but I think of lacerate as like cut open, slash, stab. I don't think of mangle. I think of mangle as kind of like discombobulate, but let me see if lacerate would fit. Because none of, lacerate won't fit for any of the other choices. So I'm thinking lacerate has to be the answer. Do y'all think that lacerate is the appropriate word well let me say it backwards do you think that mangle is the appropriate clue for the word lacerate or do you think that maybe possibly kind of sort of there might could have been a better definition i think there might could have been a better definition okay we're back to ink squirters which is still think of squid or I still think of one of those old fountain pens. But I don't see anything like that in the, in the cello box. Then we have loser at Waterloo. Which I don't know. See what else we have going down. Okay, number 13, bleeping. Bleeping. I don't know, some kind of making noise. Or maybe some kind of redacting.
Wait, could it be censorship? Sen so I think it's censorship. Once again, I don't feel like that is the best definition for the word censorship. Let me cross through it. And then the last one at the bottom, means of transport. You know what? I think I read this wrong the first time. The first time, I believe I incorrectly read it, means of support, because I was thinking about income and such, but it's transport which totally means something different. Okay, means of transport. Okay, how can we transport? Oh, I didn't cross off intrinsic. Means of transport. Oh, vehicle. I see it now. Okay, so now we just have two left. Let me bring it up here where you can help me look at the blanks and also look at the syllables that I have left. Okay, so the two we have left are Ink Squirters and Loser at Waterloo. So Loser at Waterloo is four syllables. Ink Squirter is three. Okay, I'm thinking ink squirter must be octopi. For some reason, I thought ink came from squid, but maybe y'all are shouting out at me behind your computers. If so, y'all tell me in the chat, when y'all think of ink, do you usually think of squid or do y'all actually think of octopi? Tell me if it's just me. It's okay if it's just me. Uh, I can bear the burden and laugh at myself, but please tell me if it's just me. Okay, and we're left with one last one, which is the loser at Waterloo. Clearly, y'all can tell I was not a history major. So out of the four syllables we have left, we just have to figure out what it is. And it Napoleon, that's who it is. Don't judge me, y'all. There always has to be a last one. And it just depends which subjects are in your wheelhouse. Okay, well that does it for this puzzle. Y'all make sure to let me know in the chat if you like this or you thought it was stupid. Maybe you want a different type of puzzle. Maybe you want a different type of activity where we can talk and get to know each other, play games. Might even be more fun if we had live games, but I don't know that I have enough subscribers right now who would tune in live to have some kind of game. But I am totally open to suggestions, so let me know in the comments. And as I always like to end every video, to wish blessings upon you and to say my catchphrase of laissez bon temps roulant, which means let the good times roll, roll in your heart, roll in your soul, roll in your mind, roll in your life, roll on and on and on.